Uh, hi everyone, I hope you can hear me studying Estonia. I'm Kaidi. Uh, just say if you can hear me okay, that would be lovely. Okay, thank you so much. Uh, we will start off with the uh, webinar now. Uh, we will start off with studying Estonia presentations and we're going to talk about what Estonia is like, what is uh, living like here, working uh, possibilities, uh, how to apply and so on. And then Tallinn University and Estonian Business School are going to have presentations for you as well uh, concerning their specific programs, uh, admission requirements and their scholarships. Um, so. Uh, Today, uh, we have me, Kairi. Meryl is over here to answer any of your questions. Meryl, come over here and wave to all the uh, students. Well, hello, everybody. Hi. So if you have any questions that we uh, didn't cover during the presentation, feel free to write them down, and we will answer them as quickly as possible. So to start off with uh, what it's like studying in Estonia. Uh, just a few quick facts about Estonia and what the country is like. Uh, Estonia is quite small. It's about the same size as, as Denmark, though the population is a lot smaller. We've got 1.3 million people and 4, uh, 400,000 of them live in uh, the capital, Tallinn. Uh, the currency that we use is the euro. We're part of the European Union. Uh, the Schengen area, NATO, and other organizations. So as an international student, uh, that gives you a wonderful possibility to travel within the Schengen area and uh, to take like weekend trips over and to visit and see other cultures as well during your studies in Estonia. In Estonia, English is widely spoken, especially among the younger population. Uh, the older population also speaks Russian as a second language, but English is widely accepted, especially in the university environment. Some pictures of Estonia, uh, what the nature, what the architecture is like. Estonia has distinctive four seasons, uh, spring, summer, uh, autumn, and winter. Uh, Summer is quite warm, uh, temperatures from 25 to 30 degrees, so you can go swimming uh, in the lakes or the Baltic Sea. Uh, winters, on the other hand, can get quite cold. Uh, there's lo lots of snow and uh, mm. the temperature can go uh, below uh, 20 to 30 degrees uh, Celsius. So it can get quite cold and the international students should pack their warm clothes with them when they come over. Some interesting facts about Estonia. Uh, since Estonia is uh, almost half covered by forest, we have the cleanest air in the world. It is one of the safest places to live when you look at natural disasters. We don't have any earthquakes. Uh, bigger floods, uh, tsunamis, anything like that. So it's uh, very safe to live. It is one of the most innovative countries in the world. Um, Estonia has invested a lot of uh, time and effort into um, companies and people feeling uh, more motivated to have their own startup companies. So uh, a lot of great ideas have started from Estonia. For example, Skype was programmed in Estonia, uh, TransferWise, many other companies like that have uh, started off with ideas uh, that began in Estonia. So as an international student, you are more than welcome to start up your own company uh, in Estonia, be it in I IT or any other field. There are no limitations for your startup. So you can have your own company in 15 minutes. You just fill out the papers online and you're done with it and you have your own company. Uh, there's lots of space. Uh, lots of uh, beautiful wild nature. Uh, you can go hiking, camping. Uh, there's lots of great opportunities to do that. What about international students? What is the community you're coming to uh, when you're coming to Estonia? We have nearly 3,000 international students currently studying in Estonia. 
Many universities have more than 10% of their student population um, is international students. We have 1,500 exchange students and nearly uh, students coming from nearly 100 different countries. So there are students from all across the world, uh, from Pakistan, Bangladesh, uh, Nigeria, Germany, US, uh, Finland, you name it. 89% of the international students are satisfied with their studies in Estonia. So if they were satisfied, why should not you? Uh, we have great faith in our education system. And uh, so far, the students are happy with what they got. Uh, all diplomas in uh, Estonia that you will receive uh, from the universities that we're promoting are internationally accepted diplomas. That means your diploma is accepted later on in US, Canada, rest of Europe, Australia, so on. So you can continue your education with the diploma you received in Estonia. Uh, the study possibilities and the environment, uh, it is really high tech. Um, Estonian university buildings are uh, either recently renovated or uh, just brand new. So you will come to very high tech uh, study possibilities. And that is one of the, the biggest strengths that international students have always pointed out. There are many scholarships and tuition free programs for international students. Uh, there are many tuition free programs, especially in IT and engineering, but there are scholarships for other programs and other areas as well. Uh, a lot of the international students point out that they love the fact that Estonian universities have very small classrooms. There are usually like 20, 30, 40 people in one classroom, so you will get a very personal approach to your studies. You will have um, very direct contact with your professors. You can email them, talk to them, get additional support uh, from them. So this is definitely one of the strengths of studying in Estonia. Uh, the lecturers and professors are often from uh, different countries, international lecturers, uh, especially when you look at the universities talking today with us. There are exchange study possibilities. So as an international student, when you come and study in degree studies in Estonia, you can also uh, have a semester or two abroad somewhere else like uh, France or Spain. So you can have kind of like two countries in one while you're during your studies. Uh, just some photos of uh, what it's like to be an international student. There are several uh, events going on during the uh, school year for international students, for the whole student body. So you will have plenty of opportunities to socialize with other students and get the full experience of Estonia. Some pictures of the capital, uh, Tallinn. Both universities joining us today, Tallinn University and Estonian Business School are located in the capital. Both of them are located actually in the city center. So it is really comfortable to get around. Um, the studies are right in the heart of uh, the capital. Uh, Tallinn is known for its beautiful old town and uh, it is part of the UNESCO World Heritage Site. So it is gorgeous medieval old town and some uh, beautiful pictures of the wintertime Christmas market and, and snow as well for you. Uh, student town Tartu, uh, there are two universities in Tartu as well. Uh, it is the second biggest city in Estonia and uh, it is known for its uh, student and university vibe. A list of universities in Estonia that offer English programs. So if you don't find anything from the list of programs uh, that we're going to cover today, maybe there is something that you might be interested in that other op universities offer. All these universities offer programs in English. The University of Tartu uh, is the biggest university and the oldest university in Estonia. Tallinn University of Technology, which uh, has many programs in IT engineering, but also in uh, economy and other fields. Tallinn University is going to join us uh, just a bit later. 
Estonian University of Life Sciences. They have programs in veterinary medicine and landscape architecture. Uh, Estonian Business School is also going to talk about their programs uh, just uh, in a few minutes. Estonian Academy of Arts. Uh, they offer programs in animation and um, architecture and urban studies and so on. Estonian Academy of Music and Theatre, of course, they offer programs in, in music uh, studies. Estonian Information Technology College offers a brand new program this year. They're going to open their first program in English, uh, cybersecurity program uh, for bachelor studies. Admission, uh, just a general overview, what you have to do as an international student to apply for programs. It is quite easy as an international student, all universities uh, accept online application. So you fill out the application on estonia.dreamapply.com. Uh, you will have to add your previous education diploma. So if you apply for a bachelor program, you should add your high school diploma. If you're applying for a master's program, you should add your uh, bachelor degree diploma. Uh, we are also looking for your proof of English skills. Uh, TOEFL and IELTS are uh, accepted by all universities. Usually the TOEFL requirement is uh, 70 points for internet-based test and for IELTS it's 5.5, but it depends and varies between universities, so you should really check that out. And as I said, you fill out the application form and sometimes the universities will request uh, additional um, documents like a motivation letter or portfolio of your previous work and they might have a Skype interview with you as well. The deadline for application is usually between April and May for international students. The intake is once a year and school starts in September. So we do invite the international students to arrive to Estonia at the end of August the latest so they can uh, have time, plenty of time to um, find housing and get the feel of the country and be ready to start their studies in September. The results uh, of admission, whether you've been accepted or not, are usually uh, announced in June. Uh, and after that, you can start applying for your temporary residence permit. You can apply for that only after you've received your acceptance letter from the university. Uh, you need your TRP for studying in Estonia. Uh, so whether you're applying for a BA, Master's or PhD program, you will still need your TRP. You can do that by applying at the nearest Estonian embassy. If there's no embassy in your country, then you probably have to travel to the nearest embassy to you. Uh, there's a list of all the foreign embassies on Estonian Ministry of Foreign Affairs website, so you can find out more information about that. And also how to apply for visa and TRP. The easiest way is to go to our website, studyinestonia.e. So you can find more information there. About scholarships and working, there are several scholarships on all levels, on bachelor levels. Uh, there are general scholarships um, that you can apply for. There are more scholarships on master's level, and also there are several tuition-free places on master's level as well. Uh, if you're applying for scholarships, you should definitely choose a program you're interested in and then uh, inquire from the university directly that offers that program, what kind of scholarships they offer for that specific program. Uh, PhD level studies are completely tuition free in all public universities. And additionally, all PhD level students receive a scholarship of 422 euros a month to cover your living costs. There are also many scholarships available for researchers. So to do your postdoc uh, research in Estonia, that's a possibility as well, and we welcome all researchers. Working is allowed for international students after uh, you graduated or during your studies. You can work full-time, free um, part-time, it's your choice. And you can also stay in the country for six months after you graduate to look for a job if you haven't found uh, one already during your studies. 
So that's it from me. Uh, if you've got any questions, general questions about Estonia and living and working, just write them down and we'll answer them as quickly as possible. Uh, there is contact information you can see um, later on if you want to write us a personal email or you can just check out our social media sites as well. Uh, we're gonna continue on with the Tallinn University presentation now, and after that, a little bit later, Estonian Business School is gonna join us as well. So thank you so much, and Tallinn University is gonna continue now. Hi, everybody. Do you hear me? Good. Welcome. I am Doris uh, from Tallinn University. I work here as uh, international marketing specialist. And I'm going to tell you today briefly about uh, Tallinn University overall, uh, then about our study programs. Uh, then about the application process, uh, a bit about student life and our campus. And if you have any questions, feel free to ask them, but write it as everyone. Then my colleagues from Tallinn University can answer them if in the chat window. Later on, I can answer them uh, here also. So first of all, a few quick facts about Tallinn University. Tallinn University, as it is today, was established in 2005 as a merger of uh, different institutes. At the moment, we have approximately 10,000 students studying here on BA, MA and PhD level, among whom 700 are foreigners. Uh, most of our foreign students are from Finland, then from Russia, from Turkey, Latvia, Lithuania and so on. We have approximately 1,200 uh, staff members, among whom 9.4% are foreign academics. So it's one of the highest percentages we have here in Estonian universities. We have uh, around 250 partner universities. And as Kaidi already mentioned, for example, if you come here to study, you have and want to go to study abroad for a semester or a year, you have a variety of possibilities uh, to choose among where to go. And at the moment, we have 26 academic units. Our university defines uh, ourselves as a developer uh, of smart lifestyle in Estonia. And we have directed our resources and activities into five broad focus fields. Education and innovation, cultural competences, open society and governance, digital and media culture, and healthy and sustainable lifestyle. Uh, as Kaidi already told you, uh, Estonian universities and of course, we believe in individual approach to students. Uh, our stu study groups courses are quite small. So yes, our students all, always have the possibility to turn the lecturer to the professor, ask questions, discuss some matters and so on. Our main campus is in the heart of the city center. So it's a very favorable location. Uh, the old town is only 10 minutes uh, walk away. Uh, the old town which belongs to UNESCO World Heritage. Uh, the harbour is just five minutes away and the airport and bus station are also very nearby. Our 21st century facilities include library, uh, library with modern study rooms, modern classrooms, computer classes and, for example, we even have our own uh, cinema hall uh, where our students can go and see, see films for free that is located in the Baltic Film and Media School, which is the Northern Europe's only international film and media school. There is also all necessary things for filmmaking as television studios, film studios, sound editing rooms, editing rooms and so on. Our BA programs in English, which we offer here. Uh, first of all, media in Baltic Film and uh, Media School. Uh, in media, they concentrate on, uh, they study how to make uh, audiovisual uh, content. For example, how to make uh, documentaries, uh, commercials, uh, music videos and so on. Then cross-media production, also in Baltic Film and Media School. This is a rather new program which teaches uh, the students uh, how to use uh, multiple media platforms and how to create interactive, interactive content there. Then law, uh, taught in uh, Tallinn as daytime studies and in Helsinki as cycle studies. Cycle studies mean that you don't have to be present day by day basis. 
uh, Bachelor Program in Law concentrates on international law, European law and uh, com uh, comparative law. Then we have Liberal Arts in Humanities and Liberal Arts in Social Sciences. The idea behind Liberal Arts is that uh, the students can basically conduct their own uh, studies choosing among different modules. Ainti, who studies in Finland, studies law, uh, says about uh, Tallinn University and law school that studying at TLU's law school in Helsinki has been an immensely rewarding experience. The students and faculty have provided an uh, atmosphere where you strive to learn more. Our master's program in English. Uh, first of all, Estonian Institute of Humanities offers anthropology. Then we have communication management in the Institute of Communication, uh, where the students can specialize on political communication uh, or intercultural communication. Then comparative literature and cultural semiotics, also in the Estonian uh, Institute of Humanities. Then we have digital library learning, where the students learn how to navigate uh, to the rapidly evolving world of digital libraries. Then Film Arts uh, in Baltic Film and Media School. Uh, film Arts program is offered uh, in cooperation with uh, three different uh, well-known film schools. Then computer, human computer interaction, where the students uh, study how to create user-friendly technology. International Business Law and Law School. Again, with uh, studies are conducted in uh, Tallinn and in Helsinki. In Helsinki, again, the studies are cycle studies, which again means you don't have to be present day by day basis like here in Tallinn. Then we have international uh, relations, which concentrates also on Asia and other new powers and learning games program. Uh, this is the newest program uh, offered by Baltic Film and Media School and at the learning games program, they teach educational professionals uh, how to how to use uh, modern technology. So Ilina, who studies uh, comparative literature and culture and semiotics, and she's from Russia, says about Tallinn University that at Tallinn University you have all the possibilities for personal development, from studies to traveling, sports and art. The educative process is built according to the needs and requirements of the students. And the PhD programs we offer here, uh, both in Estonian and in English. All the PhD programs are for free. So we offer analytical biochemistry, demography, ecology, educational sciences, government and politics, history, information and communication science, information society technologies, linguistics, physics, psychology, social work, sociology, and studies of cultures. And Mustafa, who is a PhD student from Turkey and studies uh, studies of cultures program, says that almost every day I encounter something that makes me think I made a great decision by choosing to study at Tallinn University. Studying at Tallinn University is academically fulfilling, liberating and relaxing. And as uh, Gaidi said, and me too, about the 250 partner universities, uh, when you come here to study, you have a lot of possibilities, or you have a possibility to go and study abroad, for example, with Erasmus studies, but also if your university, for example, is our partner university, then you have the possibility also to come here as an exchange student and choose courses from different institutes. Since we have a lot of uh, mobility agreements, more than 500 with Erasmus and other world uh, and other cooperation agreements, feel free to check it out. Maybe your university already has an agreement with us. And Paris, who was an Erasmus student here uh, at Tallinn University and later on became an, uh, became a degree student. Uh, he's from Turkey and he says that Erasmus made me an international person. I knew and felt that my life has changed. After Erasmus, there was only one thing in my mind, coming back to Estonia. It was not just Erasmus, but also Estonia that touched my heart. And here I am feeling like I am back at home. So um, a bit about study allowances, uh, since the applicants often ask whether or not we have study allowances for the students. Yes, we do. But for students who have already admitted to the entire university, 
We offer needs-based study allowance for students from financially disadvantaged backgrounds. And the scholarship allowance is 75 up to 220 euros per month during the whole study period. So three years if you're a bachelor student and two years if you're a master student, four years if you're a PhD student. And also we have study allowances based on study results, 100 euros per month and during one semester. That means that every semester you have to apply once again. If your average grade is good, then most probably you will get the allowance. So about our admission requirements. First of all, you have to go to estonia.dreamapply.com and fill in the application, uh, application form by the requested deadline. For non-EU student, students, except students from Russia, Turkey and Ukraine, the deadline is 1st of May. But for students from EU, Russia, Turkey and Ukraine, it's 1st of July. So bear in mind those deadlines. After you have filled up the application form and paid the application fee, which is 80 euros, you need to be sent by post the online application cover, which has to be printed and signed and copy of secondary education certificate if you're applying for bachelor studies and copy of bachelor's degree certificate if you're applying for master studies and transcript of records and the translation is requested if the documents are not in English and both copies and the translations must be attested uh, by a notary. After you have done that, you need to prove your English proficiency. You can uh, do that with the re most well-known tests as uh, Yeltsin or Twifel, for example. You go to the go to the language exam center and uh, do the test, and they will directly send us the uh, results. Uh, and there is a possibility to carry out the test here, but for that you have to come and travel to Estonia. After that, you can upload to online application system the copy of the identification page of your passport and the receipt of payment of the application fee. Additional to that, uh, some of the countries have country-specific requirements. For example, if you're a student from Finland and you have graduated with cum laude, you don't have to prove your English proficiency. Please go to our website to check uh, if some of the country-specific requirements apply for you too. After that, you also need to pass the program-specific requirements. Most of the program-specific requirements are motivational letter and an interview. Uh, the interview can be done via Skype, so you don't have to travel to Estonia. Some of the programs have uh, some additional entrance exams. For example, the media program uh, requires also a portfolio, uh, a photo story and an essay. So a few words about the student life here in Tallinn also. Uh, we have our own uh, student union. Uh, under that, there are different organizations and units. For example, the International Club, which organizes events for international students. ESN Tallinn for exchange students. We even have our own uh, student TV that broadcasts you the latest uh, news. We have our own culture club sports club, voter club, other cultural collectives, our own student cafe and even a childcare. About the accommodation in Tallinn, a lot of the applicants ask if we have uh, dormitories. Yes, we do, but you have to be rather quick in order to get the place there. Uh, we have our own dormitory, Tallinn University dormitory, that's just around the corner of the main campus. There are double rooms uh, for the price of 117 euros and 50 cents per month. There's also a G4S dormitory, there are double and single rooms. The price for a double room is 170 euros, the price for a single room is 340 euros. Then there's the eco-dormitory, uh, there are double and triple rooms and the price for both is 150 euros. Of course, you always have the possibility to rent an apartment by yourself with your friends, with your course mates. The prices vary, they can start from 200 but can, up, can go up to 400, 500, uh, even 600. Uh, if you go to dlu.de slash housing, there are links for the dormitories. You can go and see the photos and also links to different web platforms uh, where people can upload the, the, uh, the offers of the apartments they rent. So you can go and see there what are the prices and, uh, and how the apartments look like. About the cost of living here in Tallinn. 
Uh, the monthly living costs are approximately 300 to 500 euros, not including the accommodation. But of course, it varies on how much you want to spend and how much you can spend. But here are just some few examples. For example, student meals here at the university are three to seven euros. Public transport is free of charge for residents of Tallinn. Theater tickets, 12 to 18 euros. Uh, concert ticket, 8 to 13 euros, and so on. This is just uh, some of the examples. So work and internship. As Kaidi already uh, said, uh, you have the possibility to work in Estonia during your studies. Even if you are a full-time stu student, you can work here in Estonia. Uh, you can go to Tallinn University's Career and Counseling Centre if you're a student here and ask what kind of offers they have, or also ask uh, some contacts from your institutes. Uh, for more information about working, go to study in estoniae slash working. So our main campus here. Uh, all of our buildings have Latin names, so our students uh, could recognize where they have to go for their class. Terra, uh, Earth, represents academic traditions, is the oldest building of uh, Tallinn University, and here are all the central services located, like the marketing and communication office, academic affairs office, and so on. Astra, the stars, uh, meaning uh, achieving your goals, representing achieving your goals, is the newest addition to Thai University. It was built in 2012, and there are uh, different classrooms, seminar rooms, and different institutes are located there. Then Silva, forest, represents uh, researchers, also known as the language building. Nova, uh, meaning new, represents innovation. Nova houses the Baltic Film and Media School of Tallinn University. So this is the building where the cinema hall is located, television studio, film studio, editing rooms, computer classes, and so on. Ursa, a bear, uh, represents defending your ideas, and Ursa houses the Institute of Fine Arts. And then we have here also Mare, means uh, C, represents openness. And also, as in Astra, uh, Mare houses different institutes. Here are just a few pictures uh, from of our facilities from inside and outside. So a, a bit about uh, short courses also. Uh, we have Italian summer and winter school. Uh, during uh, Italian summer and winter school, we offer different uh, different courses. During summer school, approximately 25 different courses, language courses, creative courses, and so on. During winter school, a bit less, six or so. Yeah, the summer school uh, is in July, from 13th to 31st, and the registration is already opened. Uh, the winter school is in January, 4th to 20, 22nd. During the summer school, we have approximately 350 participants. Uh, during the winter school, about 60. And among them, about 85% are always international students. So when you come here for the for the Thailand summer and winter school, then for sure you will meet a lot of different people from various countries. And additional to the short courses, uh, Thailand summer and winter school offer also a cultural program. So when you come here, you have also the possibility to go to the museums, to field trips outside of Tallinn and so on. If you would like to know what kind of courses Tallinn Summer School offers and you want to register, then go to summerschool.tlu.de. Uh, about winter school, you can uh, go and see more information at winterschool.tlu.de. Uh, then, man, what I suggest you to do, in case you have uh, questions to our students and our alumni and you would like to know how's the life here at Tallinn, uh, Tallinn University, what they think about their study programs, then go to tlu.de slash ambassadors. Uh, all our English-based programs have a rep representative there, so you can go and check up their email and write directly to them. And last but not least, I suggest you to follow us in social media so you can keep up with our latest doings and news. In Facebook, you can find us if you type in Tallinn University. We are also in the contact yeah, Instagram, Twitter, YouTube, LinkedIn, and Trauge. Yeah. So in case you have any questions about the application uh, process, then uh, feel free to write directly to admission specialists at admissions at tlu.ee. Meanwhile, you can go to our webpage and look up for more information at tlu.ee.